Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation 3 power 2x minus 2 power 2y minus 713 equals to 0. And now we are going to find the value of x and y. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and move this negative 713 on the right hand side. And here I have moved this 713 on the right hand side. Now we are going to manipulate this left hand side. And now let's recall this power rule of exponents. So therefore the left hand side could be written as this 3 power 2x could be written as 3 power x and a whole square minus uh, likewise we can write this thing as a 2 power y whole square equal to 713 and now in order to make our job simpler let's go ahead and make a substitution let me go ahead and call this 3 power x as an a and this uh, 2 power y as a lowercase uh, b so therefore let me go ahead and uh, let uh, 3 power x equal to a and uh, 2 power y equal to b. Then our this given equation could be simplified as uh, a square minus b square equal to 713. And now let's recall this famous identity, the difference of two squares, a square minus b square. So the left hand side I can write a plus b times a minus b equals to. And now let's focus on this 713 on the right hand side, which could be factored into 31 times 23, where 31 and 23 both are prime numbers. So therefore, the right hand side could be written as 31 times 23. Now let's focus on these two factors a plus b and a minus b. We know that this part is going to be bigger number and this one is going to be the smaller one. So therefore we conclude that a plus b will take up this uh, bigger value of these two on the right hand side which is 31 and a minus b is going to take up this uh, smaller value which is 23 and now we have got a system of uh, two equations with two variables a and b and we are going to solve this system by elimination method so let's go ahead and add these two equations and when we add these two equations, this positive b and negative b, they cancel each other out. So we ended up with the 2a equals to 54 on the right hand side. And now let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore, a turns out to be 27. And now we are going to find the value of b. And now let's recall this very first equation a plus b equals to 31 and here I have copied down a plus b equals to 31 and here I am going to replace this a value by 27 plus b equals to 31 and now let's go ahead and subtract 27 from both sides this is gone so therefore our b value turns out to be 31 minus 27 is going to give us 4 and here's our next step we got a equals to 27 and b equals to 4 values but then we know that a equals to 3 power x for our substitution so therefore if we compare these two equations we can write 3 power x equals to 27 and now this 27 could be written as 3 power 3 therefore we can write 3 power x equal to 3 power 
3. Now we can see our bases are same on both sides. So therefore we can equate our exponents. So therefore our x value turns out to be simply 3. Now let's focus on this other value b equals to 4. But then we know that b equals to 2 power y. And if we compare these two equations we are going to get 2 power y equals to 4. And now we can write this 4 on the right hand side as 2 power 2. So therefore 2 power y equals to 2 power 2. And now we can see we have the same bases on both sides. So therefore we are going to equate their exponents. So therefore our y value turns out to be simply 2. So thus our x value turns out to be 3 and y turns out to be 2. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.